these women are dying. You're not special. You're not different. You're not an albino. You're not unique. You're dying. Is she a retard? Oh, I mail street. Oh, the president makes fun of people. Check out this um, mobile strike ad that talks about how hot big fatties are. Uh, you're you're very big, but we can work with it. And then they keep going. Can you jump ahead to the blonde? You're not different. You're dying. dying. Okay. Are men being discriminated against? Yes, clearly. I mean, the data shows it from danger in the workplace to alimony payments to all these perpetual myths that, like, women make less money than men. And we accept it because we can take it on the chin. We're very nice guys. I used to think women were too stupid to understand this, oh but God. let's <laughs> oh treat them like grown-ups and say sexism in 2014 is a myth, and uh, we're going to have to get back to what matters, and what matters is fatherhood. Uh, women are 40% of breadwinners in American households because of so many single mothers. Um, you have a lot of women that were never married in the first place when they have children. So they yeah, and they choose anyone. that lifestyle, and that's child abuse. Well, they don't have anyone to pay those alimony payments to. What? Alimony payments are gender neutral. There are plenty of women pay alimony payments to husbands. No. Um, and same with child support payments. No. Madonna plenty lost women... $76 million on her failed marriage yeah. to Guy Ritchie. She's not your typical broad. American women do make less money. Yes, the gender gap has been pretty much, um, not entirely erased, but it's been very much condensed among young single women without children. But as soon as no, you they bring... make more money, young single women without children, that's that's more money than that's men. That's what she's saying. What yes. do you think happened with the Malaysian I was uh, on life. Kennedy earlier saying that I want it to be Muslims. And I'm not necessarily proud of that desire, but it's a feeling, so you can't get mad at a feeling. Because you, why would they blow up a Chinese, uh, a mostly Chinese-packed Malaysian flight totally going to Beijing? And there's this myth that they hate us because of our foreign policy or something. They hate us because we're infidels, and the Quran says destroy all infidels. But I, I don't think you, I don't think either one of you believe, and I, I'm, I'm hoping that this is the case, that when something bad happens here or when Muslims are carrying out terrorist attacks, that that stuff happens in a vacuum, that it's simply their philosophy and that has nothing to do, as you were seemingly indicating, with U.S. foreign policy and the fact I that we have bases in and, that. Yes. And, we, and we intervene in various places in the Middle East and we do all sorts of stuff that doesn't actually concern us, I, that we, we don't open ourselves up. I, to, why do they attack I, Glasgow? Why do they attack Vancouver? I, I'm not... I'm, I'm just wondering if you, if you really think that that sort of stuff occurs in a vacuum. I do. It does, okay. There's so many stories behind why women have trouble losing weight. We hear that men have more muscle mass, so it's easier for them to, uh, to lose weight. We hear about women are just so different. In fact, they need more sleep than men because they're busy thinking all the time. Their brains do more. Yeah, maybe their brains have to work harder because they've been affirmative actioned into jobs that are beyond their scope. <laughs> But I hear these women complaining about diets, diets that don't work, and I know that it's a lie. But the thing, difference between men and women is men go, God, I'm a fat piece of shit. And women go, I'm, I have glands problems, it's my thyroid, I have big bones, or I'm actually very physically fit. I can work out. I, can, I run marathons with my big fat ass. No, you don't. By the way, when I see men with yoga mats, I just think, we could never be friends no matter what. You could save my life drowning and I would jump back in the river because I'd rather die than have to be part of your world, Mr. Yoga. It's amazing how many hours women spend lying down. They nap, they look at magazines. Even a Saturday for a woman involves running a couple errands and then just going, oh, I'm too pooped to deal with the kitchen right now. While we do jobs like landscaping or we lift books from the basement and storage up to the bookshelf, three things high, we're always busy as men. You're dying!